But you know what? I've never figured. Amen. A lot of times for a professor to be a Christian and say, oh, Jesus, but use God's name. They say, well, I ain't cursing. You are cursed. Amen. You get your nature changed just right. You won't do that no more. You won't call your nature a bad man. You won't cut the dog. Amen. If it does wrong. You won't kick the cat through the screen door. There'll be a change in your life. Amen. And things will be different when the new nature takes over in that man's life. I will hear the voice of the shepherd. I'm closing. Is the shepherd speaking to you today? And you know what the shepherd will do? He said, the thief come to steal, but I come to give. The key thief come to kill, but I come that you have life. And he said, and the devil came to destroy. But he said, I came that you might have life more than them. Sure, a whole lot of difference there. Is there any difference in stealing and giving? A whole lot of difference. He said, I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus gave his life on the cross that we could have life. Were it not for his giving, I wouldn't have life today. Let me close with this song as the music singers would make their way back to the platform. I've never heard Jesus in this world that I've read and read through and through and through ever tell us to do harm to anybody, to hurt anybody. To beat our neighbor over the head with a hand, or to go out here and, and uh, cheat somebody, or go out here and curse somebody, or go out here and lie. But as you know today, there's a lot of things that we're seeing today in the name of religion. Today, across this vast world we live, there's religions today that'll strap a bomb on a little 16 year old girl, send her into a, a market, and both of them detonate that bomb. Take that innocent little girl's life. She'll never know what it's like to hold her baby. Did you know today in Saudi Arabia, a Jewish person is not even allowed in that country? Did you know that during Valentine's Day, there was people locked up because men gave their girlfriends candy and got caught? They gave them flowers and they got caught. They gave them cards. You wouldn't think that happened in our world, but it is. Did you know on Valentine's Day, I watched boys and girls come in here and I watched them sit together and I watched them leave together and I watched them go and eat dinner together. But did you know in Saudi Arabia, that's not allowed. That's one of our big old countries that we just thank so much of. We tell them we're not in the last day. Did you know today that Jesus has always become offensive? to a world that he died for. Amen. For he to come back to this earth today, and man could get their hands on it, but the fact that they crucify him today faster than they did in the Jewish day. Right. They would kill him if they had the power. But aren't you glad that the Bible says he suffered one time. Amen. He suffered and he, he went back to the Father and he placed the blood at the mercy seat. And you and I now have redemption for our sins. I'm not saved because I joined the church of God. I'm not saved because my mother was a devout Oh, I guess it had a lot to do with it. But I'm saved because Jesus Christ came to the world and loved me enough that he died for my sins. Can you hear the voice of God? Can you hear God's voice? Can you hear the voice of the shepherd as he's calling you today? There's an old song that says, I hear a voice calling me. From an old rugged tree. How long has it been since you listened to his voice to speak to you and tell you to go on? The day my wife passed away and went to heaven, the day that she crossed that great divide, it was just like I had never sensed anything quite like that, Brother Bill. It was five o'clock in the morning. Straight up by the clock. All of her children were gathered around the bed. Her family, her dad, her stepmom, and all their family, I can't remember who all was there. And I had her with a hand, and I was simply holding her hand, just like I had my hand. Brother Roger, I looked up at that clock, and it's straight up by the clock. It was just like something spoke to my heart and said, You can let go now. For I have taken her hand. You held it as long as you could hold it. 
that she can let go now because she's put her hand in a hand that's much greater than mine. Yours. And you know what? I looked and she stopped breathing. She wasn't living anymore in this body. She had begun to live over there. I want you to stand. I want you to stand with your hands. If you can, you can't go with I want to ask you this question. Are you listening to the voice of God? Are you listening to the shepherd's voice as he calls to you? He says, come home. Come home. It's supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Come home. Come home. We're going home that way. That is it. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the good spirit that's here. Thank you, Lord, that you've been able to preach that good with witness. Now speak to the heart of that woman. Speak to the heart of that woman or that man or that son or that daughter that doesn't know you. And may they hear your voice. And may they come to you before it's everlasting to you. In Jesus' name. Would you come this morning? Thank you. 